So, so the next problem, a rectangular lamina of 35 mm into 20 mm rests on HP on one of its shorter edge. The lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the top view. So, the edge on which the lamina rest is inclined 30 degree to VP. So, draw the projections of lamina and find its inclination to HP. So, first note down the type of the lamina. Here, the given lamina is rectangle. So, given lamina is rectangle of 35 mm dimension and 20 mm dimension. 35 mm and 20 mm. Next, check whether lamina resting on HP or VP. Lamina resting on horizontal plane. One of its shorter edges or longer edges. So, the lamina resting on HP on one of its shorter edges. The side towards your left side is considered as resting side. Therefore, this is called as resting side. Okay, here. So, this is the horizontal plane. The lamina resting on HP with one of its shorter edges. Next, the lamina is rotated about the resting edge. Okay, here the lamina is rotated about the resting edge till it appears as a square in the top view, like this. Okay, here now the lamina appears as a square in the top view. So that data is given. So this data is used for drawing the second position. Next, the edge on which the lamina rest is inclined 30 degree with respect to VP. Which edge? So, this one, the resting edge. The resting edge inclined 30 degree with respect to VP. Now, I need to write the top view and front view. So, the first position is called as resting position. This theta is required to draw the first position. Okay, here the given lamina is rectangle of dimension 35 mm into 20 mm. Now, first place the lamina completely on HP. Now draw the top view and front view. I should start the drawing with the top view because on HP, on HP I will going to get the true shape. Now what is the front view? So when you look the lamina from the front side, okay here, the lamina looks like a straight line. Now draw the top view and front view. Okay here, construct a rectangle lamina, construct a rectangle lamina of dimension 35 mm and 20 mm with a resting side this is AD the shorter resting side should come towards your left side so I have drawn the top view the top view comes on horizontal plane so this is the first position now to get the front view okay here draw projection lines to get the front view draw thin line draw thin line so up to x, y, upward projections. The gap between these two projection lines represents the front view. So, front view is the straight line. So, make it dark. Now, in the front view, this is the direction of view. A visible, right? B visible. Therefore, front view. A dash visible, B dash visible. D, visible or invisible? Okay, here. D is behind of point A. Therefore, it is invisible. Write it in the bracket. C invisible, so write it in the bracket. Now I have completed the first position, top view and front view. Now to write the second position, so usually I need HP inclination because HP inclinations are visible in the front view. Usually I need HP inclination, but in the problem HP inclination is not given. Instead of HP inclination, he has given the top view. The given top view is square. The given top view is square. Okay, okay here. When you rotate the lamina about the resting side, now this rectangle lamina appears as a square in the top view. Now, this rectangle lamina appears as a square in the top view. So, the square dimension, okay, here, square dimension 20 into 20 mm dimension. Because when you rotate the, this rectangle lamina about the resting edge, so, okay, here, the lamina, the rectangle lamina appears as a square of dimension 20 mm. Now, I need to write the top view. Where should I write the top view? HP or VP? On HP. Okay, here I should write the top view. So, what is the given top view? The given top view is square. Now, draw the square lamina. 
how to draw the square line na? just drop projection lines drop projection lines with the help of first position top view okay here with the help of first position top view I will going to complete the second position top view now here construct square lamina of dimension 20 mm okay here 2 centimeter or 20 mm now you can indicate the arrow mark do the naming here a b c d you can indicate the dimension so this is 20 mm this is 20 mm next to get the front view second position front view so draw projections draw projection lines means thin lines and extend right side projection line up to certain length extend right side projection line up to certain length next draw left side projection line up to x y now measure this distance measure this distance first position front view from left side from left side cut an arc so that's why okay here I have drawn the left side projection line up to x y line because in the projections of plane the left side is considered as resting condition that's why you should stop the left side projection line up to x y line only now you join now join you should make it dark since this is the view so do the naming a dash d dash and this one c dash and b dash and you should measure this angle and you should measure this angle theta you should measure this angle theta so in the problem yes as the the prime find its inclination to hp so okay here this is the laminar inclination with respect to hp okay you should measure this angle using protractor and the inclination theta which is equal to 55 degree answer if you measured if you measure this angle using protractor so we will get the answer 55 degree next to draw the last position to draw the last position okay here i need this data edge inclination with respect to vp that is 30 degree okay here the edge on which the lamina rest out of this out of four sides which one is the resting side a d is the resting side okay here so a d is the resting side the side towards our left side now you should tilt the lamina such that the resting side a d makes an angle 30 degree with respect to vp vp inclinations are visible in front view or top view vp inclinations are visible in the top view okay here we should write the top view on hp now draw 30 degree line draw 30 degree line with respect to vp it is denoted by angle phi now redraw this lamina by placing the resting edge on 30 degree line okay here first measure this distance and fix it on a comma so this is d and a ad the resting side ad the edge on which it rests makes 30 degree with respect to vp now redraw the remaining points so just draw 90 degree line using protractor draw 90 degree line okay here draw 90 degree lines 90 degree here also 90 degree right next so using compass measure this distance a to b a to b cut an arc measure this distance d to c cut an arc now
make it dark okay next do the naming this is a b c and d next to get the upward projection so to get the final front view so draw upward projection from all the four corners and draw horizontal projections now draw vertical upward projections using thin line draw vertical upward projections here draw horizontal projections so draw horizontal projection and do the naming by considering the intersection points of horizontal projections and vertical projection say this is the vertical projection of point a so this is the horizontal projection of point a this, this is point a dash vertical projection of point b horizontal projection of point b b dash vertical projection of point c horizontal projection of point c c dash vertical projection of point d horizontal projection of point d d dash now connect all the four corners to get the final front view a to b b to c c to d and d to a you can indicate the arrow marks so this is the final front view and top view of rectangle lamina okay here the answer the lamina inclination with respect to hp is 55 degree so this is the solution so the next problem a rectangular lamina of size 35 mm into 20 mm has one of its shorter edges in vp with that edge inclined at 40 degree to hp draw the top view if its front view is a square of side 20 mm so this is also an apparent shape problem okay here the given lamina is rectangle this rectangular lamina of dimension 35 mm to 20 mm has one of its shorter edge on vp has one of its shorter edge on vp like this okay here has one of its shorter edge on vp now and the same this is the resting side and this edge makes an angle 40 degree with respect to horizontal plane okay here the side on which it rests makes 40 degree with respect to hp next here the front view is given the front view is a square now okay here this is the complete resting position when you rotate the lamina so about the resting side this lamina looks like a square in the front view so this so this lamina looks like a square in the front view the inclination is not given inclination is not given so but the front view is given front view is given right now i need to write the top view and front view just similar to previous problem but here the lamina resting on vp now construct a rectangle lamina by placing the lamina on vp with a shorter edge shorter edge so the dimension 35 mm 35 mm and 20 mm construct a rectangle lamina of dimension 35 mm and 20 mm next since it is the front view naming a dash b dash c dash and d dash so 
draw extension line draw extension line and indicate the dimension shorter is the dimension 20 mm longer is the dimension 35 mm now I have completed the first position front view to get the top view so just draw projections draw projections downward projections up to x y line draw downward projections up to x y line ok here so this is the top view when you look the lamina from top the lamina looks like a straight line ok here this is the top view when you, so when you look the lamina from top the lamina looks like a straight line so this is the front view so front view is the true shape top view is a straight line now do the naming here in the top view d visible right so therefore d visible a invisible so write it in the bracket in the top view c visible b invisible write it in the bracket next to draw the second position usually i need vp inclination but here vp inclination is not given instead of vp inclination he has given the front view use this data to draw the second position the front view is a square this lamina appears as a square in the front view so when you rotate the lamina about the resting edge so this lamina appears as a square okay here this lamina looks like a square in the front view looks like a square in the front view now how to draw the square lamina so for that draw projections draw projections So draw horizontal projection from the first position front view and here construct a square of dimension 20 mm. Construct a square of dimension 20 mm. So this is the apparent shape when you rotate the lamina the rectangle lamina appears such a square in the top. This is the apparent shape. So this is the true shape and this is called as apparent shape right do the naming so a dash b dash c dash d dash just similar to first position front view now to get the second position top view just draw vertical projections draw thin line draw thin line up to x y now extend the right side projection line up to certain line extend right side projection line up to certain line next measure the first position top view length from left side cut an arc ok here in the plane the left side is considered as resting condition that's why ok here I have stopped the left side projection line up to x y and I have extended the right side projection line now join using dark lines draw inclined line right now this is D and A resting side and this is C and B now measure this angle this is called as lamina inclination with respect to VP lamina inclination with respect to VP if you measure using protractors we will get the answer angle 5 which is equal to 55 degree angle 5 which is equal to 55 degree now to draw the last position ok here I need HP inclination the side on which it rests the side on which it rests so makes an angle 40 degree with respect to HP the side on which it rests makes 40 degree with respect to HP now how to draw the last position draw 40 degree line with respect to HP draw 40 degree line with respect to HP HP inclinations are visible in the front view so that's why okay here I have written the front view on VP now redraw this square lamina by placing the resting side so this is the resting side the left side this is the resting side D comma A that is D dash and A dash 
so make it dark now draw perpendicular lines draw perpendicular lines from point d and draw perpendicular lines from point a at any length at any length next measure this distance d to c d to c cut an arc measure this distance a to b cut an arc now connect the arcs using dark lines next do the naming a dash this is b dash this is c dash and d dash next to get the final position front top view just draw vertical projections using thin line draw vertical projections here draw horizontal projections okay next do the naming vertical projection of point a horizontal projection of point a this is a vertical projection of point b horizontal projection of point p this is b vertical projection of point c horizontal projection of point c this is c vertical projection of point d horizontal projection of point t e, this is d now connect all the four corners to get the final position top view a to b b to c C to D using dark lines connect all the four corners to get the final top and you can indicate the arrow marks this is point a <coughs> so this is the final position of rectangle lamina when the lamina looks like a square in the front view of dimension 20 mm and the side on which it rests makes an angle 40 degree with respect to hp and here also we should indicate the dimension of square lamina okay here 20 mm indicate the dimension of square just draw square symbol and write the dimension 20 mm. so this is the solution of given problem